Well, temperatures in the Arctic have reportedly reached record levels, with one town in Siberia recording a new high of 38 degrees. Well, our team in the Cube have been speaking to climate scientists who are expressing their concern. Well, let's get more from Matthew in the Cube. Well, Isabel, it's not a part of the world you would usually associate with heat waves, but in one town in Saka Republic in Siberia, a temperature was recorded on Saturday of 38 degrees Celsius. That's roughly more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, this temperature, which still needs to be verified, would be a record for that part of the world. It's a ridiculous temperature that many scientists are saying is a symbol of climate change. Now, the UN Climate Change Agency, they said that this is reportedly 17 degrees hotter than the norm which would be expected for the 20th of June, and that this part of the world is warming twice as fast as others during 2020. Now, of course, this is causing great concern for a huge number of climate scientists on a number of levels. The rising uh, temperatures are going to be causing sea levels to rise because of the melting ice. And earlier, my colleague Shauna Davis in the Cube spoke to one climate Dr. Professor Jason Box, who told us exactly what this means in terms of a symbol of climate change. This warm anomaly isn't uh, just the last few days. It's actually been going on for months and months. And it's uh, a signature of changing climate when our weather patterns get more sticky and they, they are more slowly moving. And that can produce not just heat waves, but, but drought and uh, flooding conditions, even cold waves. Now, Russia has reportedly just experienced its hottest winter in 130 years. And something else that these rising temperatures can contribute to are wildfires. This is a picture taken by Copernicus. That's the European's eye in the sky, reportedly showing on Saturday a kilometre of around 37 kilometres outside that Saka Republic, where these wildfires are raging. They were witnessed in 2019, and now again they have returned during this especially hot summer. And indeed, again, another climatologist who we spoke to, Mark Parrington, from European Union's Copernicus, he told us about the serious consequences that these fires can have on our climate. This is an area that, that isn't accustomed to fire burning in the environment at this scale. Um, it's producing a lot of pollutants, which affects the air quality to, to people that live in that area. But also when the when wind conditions and the weather conditions are right, this, this smoke could be blown tens of thousands of kilometers and affect air quality um, a long way downwind. Potentially, if they continue to follow what we saw last, the, the trend that we saw last summer, um, we could be seeing you know these fires burning for the next uh, two months. So there you go, Isabel, real concerns from a number of climatologists that these sort of rising temperatures are going to be causing greenhouse gases to be emitted back into the atmosphere in what some scientists are calling the vicious cycle of climate change. Okay, a worrying trend. Well, Matthew, in the cube, thank you.